Hello, good evening. Thank you very much for watching Darcy TV. My name is Isaac Darcy. If you're watching live right now, as you can see from the background today, we are live from the University of Cape Coast Campus at the Auditorium 900. Happening Life is the local news UCC chapter moving at Happening Life right now. So I'll quickly try and talk to some few students to find out from the why they are here to watch the movie. Um, if today is your first time of watching Darcy TV, make sure you click on the subscribe button and be part of Darcy TV family. So let's go. Good evening, my dear. Hello, good evening. Okay, so you are live on Dazzy TV. And I want to ask you, what are your expectations for today's program? Um, actually, I expect to get a good moral lesson from the movie that they want to show up today. That is all what I'm expecting today. Yes. You're welcome. Right. What are your expectations for today? Okay, I'm expecting something nice, beautiful, and entertaining as well. Um, I'm here because I saw the fire around and I'm so interested in this movie night because of the stress that I'm going to enter soon. Okay, and what are your expectations too? Okay, I want to watch something that will like, you know, excite me at the same time, you know, calm my nerves. Okay, um, I'm here to socialize too. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. You are live on Dazzy TV. Um, please, what are your expectations? Okay. Going forward, I think the SLC Luka Nuksu Kwam has done very well and I'm expecting that this, book, this program is going to be nice because the anticipation is very high, so we're expecting something good. So aside your expectation, what else? Oh, I expect, it's I know it's going to be educative since it's coming from the SLC and the Luka We should all learn our lessons from here, then maybe you're going to have a better stay in life. Thank you so much for your time. Please pass to me. Agents. Okay, I'm Estelle. Um, please, why are you here? Oh, we are here for the movie night. It's been long since we've gathered as a um, student body like this to enjoy something nice. So I'm just here to happy myself, if I'm to use that word. So, um, I like the fact that the SLC has decided to keep us in the dark. So I am expecting something nice because I know Tofa and his people will not disappoint us. Well, I'm expecting to have fun. If not for that reason, everyone here will tell you, we all have laptops and other phones to watch movies. But I think watching with other people it also makes it in a different way. So we are here to have fun with our other colleagues here. Yeah. Oh, things is a movie night. We are here to have fun, watch movies, laugh a lot. Good evening. Good evening to you. I came here to relieve stress, you know. UCC is known as a land of confusion. Not only that, but that's academic schedules. But I just came here to relieve stress before lectures begin. That's why I'm here. What's your expectation? Oh, I hope I won't be disappointed because I did a kind of lotto. Today is Copa America final. And I don't want Messi to lose. So I don't want this. I'm a Barcelona fan. So I came here to relieve stress. I don't want the situation that I'm going to win the Copa America final. And Messi will lose their third cons consecutive Copa America final. So I came here to watch it. So yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So we are live on Dazzy TV. All right. Um, what are your expectations for today's program? I'm just expecting something cool, something that can relieve my stress. That's all. Okay, so let's say aside that expectation, what else? I make friends, create connections and stuff. That's all. Thank you so much for your time. Expectation for today's program. I'm just expecting an interesting scene here. Right. Yeah, Thank sure. you so much for your time. Okay. We are coming to watch movies. Yes, uh, to have fun, meet new people, probably meet my future wife or something. Hey, I see you. Yeah. My ass. You see the way the other has become, you know, like when you don't have anybody somewhere. So uh, maybe I'm just here yeah, so that I be, uh, in the, if they finish and I get somewhere and we go to my hostel, uh, then things will happen. Thank you so much for your time. Good evening. Good evening. You are live on Dazzy TV. Please, why are you here? Uh, I'm here to have fun, to enjoy and connect. Okay, what are your expectations for today's program? Oh, I'm, I'm expecting to have a nice night. And enjoy. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Hello, good evening. You are live on Dazzy TV. Um, please, why are you here? 
Why are you here? Oh, things is a movie night. We are here to have fun, watch movies, laugh a lot. Oh, at the end of the day, I think everybody will be happy because we are here to have fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Please, my, my name is Esther. What about you? Ampana. Ampana. Oh, okay. So, why are you here? To have fun with my friends. Your invitation. Something nice. Alright. Try it. I said that. Try Try I hope to make new friends. What? I hope to make new friends. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Enjoy the program too. Microphone. Hello. Please, for live on Dazzy TV. I'm a star. What about you? I'm Ruby. Pardon? I'm Ruby. Okay, so why are you here today? Okay, so I heard of a movie night. Yeah, organized by the woke home. So I wanted to join on Honestly, I'm very expectant. Yeah. That uh, I want to socialize and, and then have fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're most welcome. Enjoy the program. Too. Thank you very much. What's your name? Abigail. Abigail. Oh, Abigail. Abigail. What are your expectations for today's program? Oh, I I expect it to be fun. Uh, I want to enjoy. It's just fun. Just fun. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Okay. What is your name? Mod. Mod. Oh, nice name. Wow. I'm a star. Please, why are you here? Um, actually, we had there's a movie night here, so we came to witness it. I would advise that. Um, what about your expectations too? Mm, we don't want to watch movies we've already watched here. Okay, why are you here? What's your expectation too? Mm, I've come to watch a nice movie, entertain myself. Yeah. I said I said that once watch. Nothing extraordinary. Oh, no, 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 no. oh yeah, I came with my friend, so yeah. Thank you so much. Enjoy.
All right, so I have the SLC General Secretary here. I mean, we just finished the first show for the ninth, and I'm going to go. To, I want to ask her some few questions about the movie that she watched. Esther, you watched the movie. Can you relate with the movie? Okay, thank you very much. First of all, I would want to commend the SRC and the local NOOCs for this particular initiative. For sexual harassment issues are real issues that happen on our university campuses. UCC is not an exception, but these issues are very real. And it doesn't happen between only lecturers and students, but also students and students. And so I'm very happy that we are watching this movie. This is something we can very much relate to. Yeah, it's very, very real. So what do you have to say about the movie to somebody who did not get the opportunity to come to the auditorium to watch the movie? Well, I would say that they have missed out, but then that is not the end because it is a movie that is on the internet. The, the title of the movie is Citation. And so I will entreat all of us to go and watch the movie so that we can learn the lessons that are in there for us. Right, so thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. I have a lady here who also had the opportunity to watch the movie. What do you make of the movie that you watch? Um, okay, it was a nice movie and I would say I've watched it before but I didn't feel bored to watch it again. It's a very educative movie so I enjoyed it a lot. So what do you have to tell somebody watching us right now who did not get the opportunity to watch the movie? A, a little bit, a brief about the movie to somebody watching us right now. Um, okay, I would say the movie is basically about what happens in the university campus because it does happen. People go through what the lady went through and they are afraid to come out to talk. So I would encourage you, if you are going through this or if you've ever been through this, you should have the courage to come out and speak. So what, what, is she, what was she going through in the movie? Um, the lecturer was harassing her. Um, she was able to free herself, but when she reported it, it became another case because the panel didn't believe her. But in, um, in the end, she got her freedom. So although we didn't watch to the end though, but uh, because I've watched, I know what happened in the end. So what is your advice to anybody who's also facing the same challenge in any of the tertiary institutions we have in Ghana here? Okay, you should come out and speak. It's difficult in the beginning, but at the end, you should know that you get your freedom. So you should come out and speak. All right, so according to you, you should come out and speak. So have this a beautiful young lady here. You, you, you had the opportunity to watch the movie. What do, you, what, what do you make of the movie? Okay, so from the movie, I think it was, it was about how the girl got uh, closer to the lecturer. You know, before a lecturer would take advantage of you, it depends on how you relate with him. So basically, I think that we, the female students, we should know how to relate with our lecturers. We shouldn't get too close to them that we have to be going to their houses for parties and then teaching them how to ride. You know, riding it drive, sorry, driving is not for we students to teach them. If the lecturer wants to learn how to drive, there are driving schools that he can go and then learn how to drive his, his car, yeah. All right, so I mean, your, your, your advice to anybody who is facing a similar challenge in any of the schools? Okay. I will advise anyone going through this, whether a male or a female, to speak out. Because, you know, even if you speak out, people will harass you, people will uh, speak bad things against you. But then, when you speak out, the world will hear you, the public will hear you, and at the end of the day, you'll be the one who will win the case, not the lecturer. Because a lot of students who have gone through it, that were not able to speak out, will come out and then speak out for you. Thank you very much for speaking to us. So, Nanadra Empress, so what do you make of the movie? I mean, you have watched it before. If you want to relate that one to what goes on at other campuses, what can you say about that? It consists of two situations where the first lady took uh, the rules into her hands that, to the extent that the lecturer had been lost his life. That wasn't the best. She was wrong. Relating that one to University of Cape Coast here, if we're a female student and probably you're being harassed by a lecturer, what are the things are you supposed to do? Well, I just, I'll just make sure that I don't go the other way around to find myself. Because if, if you are closer to the lecturer, in some cases you'll find yourselves to that situation. And unfortunately, some don't get a chance to be the safer hands. They just fall into the trap and then they end up 
sleeping with their lectures, but they wouldn't get their grades to. Some won't get their grades to, and some they will get their grades. So, if you put in much effort, you will exceed your aim. Okay, so just have to now, pray to God and then learn. You will surely get there. Thank you very much for speaking to us. All right, so thank you very much for watching Dati TV. And only for me, I have the Women's Commissioner of UCC Local News Chapter, Linda Beba, as usual. That's, that's a teaser. Linda, before we start a conversation, I mean, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, when I saw the flyer, I thought students are not going to turn up. I mean, I thought University of Cape Coast students usually want to be with their books. But to surprise you, the, the entire auditorium was full to capacity. What did you do this time around to get students here to watch the movie? I will not say I did it all by my own. It's a teamwork. Uh, the local NOOCs subcommittees and the SRC body as its own helped a lot in making this program a success. And I think that uh, we went very well to her to let students know the reason why they should come. And we made the movie. It's a sexual harassment campaign movie. But we have to do it in such a way that it will be entertaining and also a learning procedure. So I think the whole idea was being conceived by me one day when I was watching Citation and I realized that if the whole student body watches it, it's, it's, going, to, it's going to be beneficial. So I introduced the idea to the uh, SRC board and the NUGS board and gladly they also buy in the idea and we were able to pull the program together with good organization and good teamwork to make it a success. Alright, so one thing that I have to I have to commend you is the movie title that you chose for this very important movie night. I mean, you, 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 you selected a movie that is more of student-centered and lecturer-centered. I don't think uh, I'll organize a program like this and make it an irrelevant one. So I wanted something that an individual can relate to it and understand that this is the university life, this is the situation that we go through when maybe you are being, you are being faced with a, uh, the, that is the veteran uh, that, that is the disciplinary committee of the university. The individual must know his where from his how and must be able to watch the movie and relate to their lifestyle or what happens on campus and be able to learn. Because if I should choose an abstract movie or a movie that doesn't relate to their life, the lesson may be learned, but the person will not see the practicality of the lesson. That's why we had to choose the movie citation. And the movie was to campaign for that's, uh, the lecture and student relationship and the sex for grades. And I thought it wise that we should stream it out to the general student for them to learn and so also to be able to make it practical. And when they are in such situation or when they are in such uh, uh, circumstances, they know their way out when it comes to it when it comes to sexual harassment all right so that was a perfect movie for the night okay so your final word to anybody watching your life right now who is also going through a similar situation not only university of cape coast other universities across the world uh, on my vetting day i made a point clear that i've been abused in life before that was at age six seven and eight so as an individual i take it personal when an individual harass someone or is being sexually abused and that is the main motive why i came for the women's commissioner that i'll be a voice out there and that's what i seek to achieve and not to forget coming weeks that is coming uh, that is the third week and the fifth week we are having the women's week and it's going to be more massive than this and i promise them i will not be i will not make the commission uh, seat or i will not make the position irrelevant we are going to bring on great ideas that will benefit uh, that will benefit the individual body and even the student body as a whole all right so thank you very much for speaking to us before we leave uh, do you know the title of the movie citation all right so the title of the movie is citation. citation so if you want to know more about the movie you can just go to the internet and search for citation and get an opportunity to watch the full movie because it's very educative and entertaining as well. So thank you very much for watching. Yeah, what?
I spoke to the Women's Commissioner Linda Beba, and I, I think I have an opportunity to talk to the South President uh, Tim Tofa. I mean, I will call you that. I mean, uh, you were voted for on the basis of Tim Tofa, and I, I love that name. All right, so this is your first event in the second semester. After observing certain things, the protocols and everything, how does that make you feel after having the first show for the night? Okay, um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy about whatever is going on here. Um, the fact that you know we already had the first session and I mean students were generally complying with the um, protocols that we had put in place um, almost everybody all students were in their masks um, um, to see that students are coming out in their numbers to be part of um, SRC local knowledge programs and the fact that they are really abiding by all the protocol that we've put in place to um, combat COVID-19 uh, I think it makes me very glad and this shows that we are capable of organizing I mean all the programs that we are supposed to organize and students are going to comply with um, the COVID-19 protocol and I'm also very happy that students have come out to their numbers um, it goes to show that you know students really want to have uh, extracurricular activities and i'm glad that today we have shown that we can still have fun and still be safe and still i mean kick covid 19 out the title of the movie you chose a title of the movie that is that resonates with every student especially female student and lecturers relationship what informed that decision to not use any other movie i mean romantic movies action movies are there but you decided to settle on student lecturers relationship movies. What was the rationale behind choosing that, that movie? Okay, so um, even though we are having fun, uh, it's a time for students to relax, we should also be educating students. We should be solving um, a social problem. Um, as we all know, um, sexual harassment is, is something which is really rampant and it's worrying a lot of students um, females and males alike and so even though we are having fun it's very important that the movie that we are showing is something educative something that would sensitize people about a social problem and also um, students can be aware on how they can i mean go about these things to see to seek redress when they are confronted with um, issues of sexual harassment on campus so that was the rationale behind it it wasn't just about coming to have fun but also coming to have fun the right way leaving to the hostels or leaving to their halls with, with with something positive yeah all right so um before your final word to anybody watching us right now being a student or not a student based on the movies that we, we, we show tonight what's your final word to anybody watching us live right now okay so uh, my final words are that um sexual harassment is real um, do not hide in your room if you are harassed by anybody. There are avenues to seek redress, report, talk to somebody, um, talk to an authority, talk to a friend, um, do not be shy. And there are systems in place to make sure that you get um, redress. And I also want to keep telling our students that COVID-19 is still in the system. And so let's keep wearing our mask. Let's keep um, observing social distancing. Let's keep washing our hands as much as possible. Thank you. All right, so thank you very much for speaking to us and God bless you. So there you heard from the SLC president. We still continue to engage some of the students to find out from them what are their general impressions about the movie night. So stay tuned.